Those are literally just the notebooks that I have in my office. There's notes in this notebook. There's notes in this notebook. There's notes in this notebook. There's notes here. We've got notes here. We've got notes here. And the list could go on and on. Oh, I legitimately will put notes in notebooks and remember that I wrote things down and then not remember at all which notebook I wrote it in or where I put that notebook or whatever. So when I found a freaking tablet note taking app, it was like a whole new world opened up. Hey, howdy, hey, y'all. My name is Jessica Stansberry, and today we are specifically going to talk about the iPad and note taking apps on the iPad, but do not worry if you have like a not Apple brand of a tablet and pen or pencil because I'll give you some ideas for that as well. But if you have yet to discover the power, the power that is taking notes on a tablet, you better, you better buckle up, buttercup. Let me get all these off my desk. Now, before we get into it, I'm gonna get asked where I got this little cover thingy. It's like $6 on Amazon. I will link it below and it's great. Um, it's like a little grippy for your pencil. But I recently got the new 2020 iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch, and I love it. And I have been using note taking apps on my iPad for years now. Um, but I like it even better now that I have this like bigger size because this bigger size kind of feels more like a real notebook. Whereas the smaller size, I was constantly having to like zoom in all the time. That's not really important because honestly you can use these apps on whatever. Um, but I will say I really like this size for me personally. A whole other facet of digital note taking is digital planners. And I've done a ton of videos about digital planners and specifically talk about how to use good notes and these note taking apps in that capacity. So I will link those below if you're like, wait, what? There's what I can do, huh? Um, because those are some really great resources too if you're just kind of stumbling into this world of digital note taking. If you have an iPad, whatever the size of iPad you have, if you have all Apple products, if you are functioning specifically in the Apple ecosystem, I would highly, highly suggest GoodNotes. GoodNotes is not yet available in Android or other formats. So if you are, you know, maybe you have an iPad, but you have an Android phone or you have an iPad, but you know, you use other devices, then I would go with something more like OneNote. But honestly, honestly, they're all basically the same. And it really just comes down to like what you need more of. Now I will say the main difference for me between GoodNotes and OneNote is that in OneNote you have the ability to have like endless pages. And what I mean by that is you can have one page that goes on and on and on forever. So rather than having a notebook with pages, it can be like an, a continuous page forever and ever, amen. So your notebook could be like one big long 40,000 scroll page. On GoodNotes, it is by page and specifically is page to page. There's not like an endless page option, but I personally like that. I think I would lose things if they were lost in an endless scroll option, but honestly, that's just, you know, whatever you prefer. So like I said a minute ago, I have like 42,000 notebooks and oftentimes I will write something down in that and then forget where I wrote it down. Most recently, I had a conversation over the phone with um, a potential contractor that I was going to use and I wrote down a ton of notes about this relationship and their packages and like all the things, right? But then I put it away and God only knows where it went because I can't find it. And something happened during that relationship where I needed to find that notebook and I could not find it. I could not find that notebook. I could not find our notes from that call and it drove me bananas. And, and, and it's not like the notebook just got up and walked away. I don't know what happened to it, but I have 10,000 notebooks. So it's, you know, 
We shouldn't be surprised is my point here. But honestly, I learned my lesson. I will be taking important notes forever and ever and ever, amen, on this because there's so many cool features and you're gonna get these types of features that I'm gonna talk about first from basically any note-taking app. It doesn't have to be good notes. It can be any of them that let you write handwritten notes. I will say, you know, all of us are taking notes on our phone all the time. And just this morning, I was taking notes in the notes app on my iPhone. Now, I can use good notes on my iPhone, but sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I will take them quickly in the notes app on my iPhone and then I will, you know, when I sit down to like put them somewhere, I will organize them better. But having a way to quickly jot down notes and having a way to quickly get two notes is so, so, so important and we're so used to it now that why not kind of like merge the two, right? And I would have loved this when I was in college because every class had a different notebook, every notebook had a different section, and that would have drastically decreased the weight in my backpack so that the time when I was in college that I fell in the parking lot where I parked and my backpack went over top of my head and trapped me in the parking lot looking like an idiot, I wouldn't have struggled so much to get that backpack off because it wouldn't have weighed as much because I wouldn't have had as many notebooks. And I wouldn't have this scar on my elbow. So literally digital note taking could have saved me an actual scar. If you're completely brand new to this thing, if you're like, I have no clue what digital note taking is, essentially in any of these apps with this handy pen or pencil or like whatever Thing you're using that will let you do this. You can create notebooks, you can create folders. See, I have folders and in those folders, each folder has notebooks and then there's tons of notebooks in these folders. So for instance, this notebooks folder has homeschool because for a second I thought I might homeschool my children if I thought they were gonna go back in a weird way to school, personal notebooks, and then work notebooks. And so like in the work, work notebooks, then I have all of these notebooks. I have brain dump, call notes, client notes, conference notes, which is its own folder, so I can open that up. And I have two different notebooks from two different conferences I was at. Planning, podcasting, I mean, I have notebooks for everything. So while I can have a ton of different notebooks, they're not like the big stack that is gonna weigh me down and I'm gonna forget where I put everything. So essentially you have the folders, then you have the notebooks, and inside the notebooks, you have pages. They're just like regular notebooks. You can bookmark pages inside of your notebook so that when you pull up the entire notebook at a glance, you could flip to sections really, really quickly. So for this one, this is my brain dump notebook. And these are all the pages inside my brain dump notebook. And um, it's literally that, it's a brain dump. And so like on one of my pages, I'm talking about notes from a book I read. On another page, I was planning something out. Um, on another page, this was a speech I gave. So there's just a ton of different notes in here and I can bookmark these so that if I know that I'm working on a certain page or working on a project, I can get back to that really easily. And you know, you can do all the fancy things like putting covers on it and changing the style of paper inside and highlighting and, and highlighting and drawing and changing colors and changing thickness of your pen and adding images and adding text box and all the things. But probably the coolest feature of digital note taking and specifically of GoodNotes that I think it does a great job at is that I can open up the search box and I can search for any word and it will find it even in my really sloppy handwriting inside my notes. And that is saying a lot because when I start writing, a lot of times it's not like super neat or super put together. And before I got this screen protector, which is like a screen protector that kind of simulates the feeling of paper. So when I write on it with my pencil, it feels like I'm writing on paper and not like I'm writing on glass. 
I will link that below to BT dubs. But before I got that, my handwriting was really, really bad on here. And so it's gotten a little bit better since I got that, but essentially I don't have the prettiest handwriting in the world anyway. And so for me to be able to search and find my handwriting is magical. Also, GoodNotes works with the new scribble feature on the iPad, so if you're trying to search for something and you wanna just scribble it out, you can do that. Or if you want to insert a text box and you want it to be typed text, but you don't wanna take the time to type it, you can use the scribble feature from the iPad and scribble inside that text box and it will dictate it for you. Beyond all of that, you can share it with people, you can share certain notebooks with people, you can bookmark favorites, you can move pages around, so once you know once you have a notebook and you see that oh i wrote this thing but i really want this page in the front so every time i open this it's there you can move pages around inside the app you can add unlimited notebooks you can bring documents into GoodNotes and sign them, which is one of my favorite applications of this app and of the iPad in general. We sold our other house recently that we moved out of when we built this house. And you know, when we were signing that, obviously the, the bank was sending back and forth forms and they had to be physically signed. And it was really, really easy for me to download the form, put it on here, sign it, have my husband sign it and re-upload it and email it straight from here. I didn't have to waste paper. I didn't have to print it out. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a hassle at all. It was really, really easy. So things like that make this really great hybrid between digital and physical. And it's probably one of my favorite things. You can delete notebooks. You can import PDFs from anything. So if you wanted to import a PDF, let's say, so I went to Rachel Hollis's Rise Live conference last year and um, they gave us a digital um, a workbook. So I imported it here into my GoodNotes app. And then I took my notes within that workbook right there at the conference. So when she would say things like turn to page, whatever, and I would find that page and I would take my notes directly in the workbook. And so I could have done, I could have inserted pictures, you know, highlighted things, whatever. And I just feel like it's way more versatile than a standard notebook. And this is coming from somebody who loves stationery. Let me just tell you, I do. I love stationery. I think it's fun. And I have always loved like getting the new notebook every year and uh, you know, getting new journals and, and stuff like that. But the thing is, I never use them and I don't, when I do use them, I don't use them well. So getting a note-taking app on a tablet has been seriously magical for my productivity and for my planning and things like that. So I said in the beginning that I wanted to kind of mention some things if you don't have an iPad specifically, or if you're not in the Apple ecosystem. And so I already mentioned OneNote. It is probably one of the better options out there that will go between Apple and Android systems. Another one that I have personally tried out and I've had a lot of people recommend to me specifically for digital planning on an Android type device is Zodo and it's X-O-D-O. -O. That one seems to be really comparable to GoodNotes in the Android store. It is not a pass over app though. Like you can't, you can't use it in Apple and in Android, but overall, all of these apps are gonna do the same thing. As long as you have this fun, like some kind of fun pencil or pen to write on your tablet with and take physical handwritten notes, and you can make different notebooks and have different sections and, and you know organize it in the best way, they're all really gonna have the same functionality. The big difference is that OneNote does have that like one endless page option um, if that is something that you want to use. For me personally, I find it a little confusing, but also it's, it's just not the way my brain works. And so you definitely wanna play around with that a little. If you're like, girl, I love everything you just said, but I need a full on tutorial of GoodNotes. I have that on this channel. So I'll link that above and then also below in the description. But I want you to tell me below in the comments if, if you have ever used a digital note taking app and or if you're looking to switch because I'd love to hear from you. And, 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 and something really exciting that I have been planning in mine is 
the design slash wish list slash things I need to do for my new studio. Oh, I'm so excited. I just signed the lease on a studio in the downtown area of my town and I'm so pumped. It's a very wide open -y type situation. I'm gonna create a whole YouTube creative studio in there with like podcasting areas and filming areas and obviously office areas for myself and my current employee slash any other employees we bring on. And I'm so excited and I have been planning all the things with GoodNotes, with my iPad, screenshotting things out of Pinterest, putting them in here so that I have everything in one place when I go to actually setting up this office because there's things that we need, right? Like there's, you know, we need desks, preferably. We need lights in there because I don't use a ton of external lights here in my home office because I'm surrounded by windows. We need storage. We need a mini refrigerator. We need just all of these things that we need, right? But then there's also like a list of wants. So eventually I will do X, Y, or Z in there or whatever. And there's also a list of videos that I want to do surrounding this new studio and moving into it and making it my own. And so all of those lists are in their own notebook here in GoodNotes titled The Studio. That way I can keep up with everything I want to like think about or I have thought about before about the studio in one notebook. So to wrap this up, I absolutely love GoodNotes. If you need a tutorial on that, like I said, it's linked below in the description. And if you need a link to any of the other apps I talked about that are not Apple specific, those will also live in the description below. I'd love to hear from you in the comments about whether or not you use digital note taking, whether you're just getting started, whether you're a pro at it, what are some of your favorite features? I wanna just chat it out down there. And I want you to make sure you hit subscribe because I'm gonna be bringing you all this new awesome goodness from this brand new studio, showing you the behind the scenes of how we get it set up, showing you the behind the scenes of everything and bringing you even more really freaking awesome content that is gonna knock your freaking socks off. So stay tuned, subscribe, hang out with me in the comments below. Everything I talked about today is in the description. There's links everywhere and come back because I got, I got some good stuff coming. Bye y'all.